breaking news overnight, a tornado outbreak turning deadly in Missouri. Tornado emergency for Missouri's capital of Jefferson City. The National Weather Service confirms the city took a direct hit from a twister. The damage is extensive. Roofs ripped off of homes, debris everywhere. At least 10,000 customers are without power. People on the ground tell CNN they were sheltering wherever they could. As flashes lit up the sky, officials are asking people to remain indoors. We do not need citizens coming out, helping us by driving around, identifying problems. We have enough calls coming in from affected citizens to where we don't need people driving around telling us that there's a tree in the roadway. We have personnel out doing that. Some very, very good advice this morning. Three people in Missouri are confirmed dead. Debris reached as high as 13,000 feet in some places. Several injuries reported in the Carl Junction area of Jasper County. A possible tornado also down trees and power lines in Joplin. Eight years to the day after a catastrophic storm there killed 158 people. In Oklahoma, a pair of runaway barges broke free on the flooded Arkansas River. Uh, authorities are concerned they may hit the interstate bridge and a nearby dam. Officials calling for evacuations along the river in Mus Mus Muskogee and Weber Falls. Residents have been told if they are staying, write your name on your arm in permanent marker. How about that? The flooding from earlier storms literally sinking that home along the Cimarron River in Logan County. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol racing to rescue this woman. She had to climb out of a window in her home to get to safety. The Oklahoma National Guard deploying 120 personnel to help with evacuation efforts. The threat in the region is far from over. CNN's Padram Javahiri live in the Weather Center this morning in Atlanta. Padram, good morning. What's still to come and what came through Missouri? Yeah, at least a few more hours. Good morning, Dave. Good seeing you. Uh, you know, when you're looking at these thunderstorms, especially seeing them into the overnight hours, we have just a, a screen grab here of, of the lightning strike here illuminating what appears to be a wedge tornado. This, of course, crosses right over Jefferson City, the capital of Missouri there, just before midnight. And anytime you see a nocturnal tornado, it's overnight, about twice as deadly as ones that occur during the daytime hours for obvious reasons. The last thing you want to see, and we've talked about this for so many days now, of the, the feverish activity in recent days across the area. In fact, I just tabulated nearly 170 tornado reports in an area that spans over seven or eight states since last Friday. In fact, last May 2018, busiest time of the year, take the entire month of May, we had 169 tornadoes for the entire month. So it really speaks to how intense it's been over the last several days. But here's what's going on at this hour. Look at this line of thunderstorms. Stretches about 800 miles from areas just north of Oklahoma City all the way towards Chicago. Red uh, polygons across this region. Those are tornado watches in effect until 5 to 6 a.m. local time across this region of the plains in the Midwest. And even a tornado warning at this hour, meaning some rotation within this thunderstorm, tornado imminent or occurring across this region, which would be around the short bend area of Missouri just outside of Edgar Springs. This is just northwest, of course, of Jefferson, Missouri. And you look at the thunderstorms themselves, the one that spawned that large tornado that worked its way towards Jefferson, Missouri. I believe I heard Christine talking about the 13,000 foot high debris that was lofted into the atmosphere. This is that same thunderstorm. You look at the vertical profile of this and slice it open, 40,000 feet high. So an incredible thunderstorm across this region. Still watching this again into the early morning hours to produce additional thunderstorms, additional tornadoes possible at least the next couple of hours. So we'll stay here with you for that, guys. All right, Padram, thank you, my friend. We'll check back with you next half hour. Joining us now by the phone is the mayor of Jefferson City, Missouri, Kerry Turgeon. Mayor, thank you so much for being with us at this early morning hour. Probably difficult to assess until the sun comes up in a few hours, but what can you tell us about the extent of the damage? Yes, well, I'm actually out walking the uh, streets right now assessing damage. We have our public safety uh, officials are working very hard uh, throughout the night to, to do what they can to keep our community safe, to ensure that they're uh, assisting those that, that need it the most and, and taking care of things. So we're seeing a lot of partnerships and people coming together uh, within our police and fire and all of our surrounding communities, uh, all of our public safety officials are working together. 
Mayor, what's your biggest concern right now? It's just been a few hours since this it looks like a wedge tornado hit uh, hit your town, even affecting right there downtown. What's your biggest concern right now? Biggest concern is that we are hoping that everybody is okay. Uh, buildings and things can be replaced. We just are hoping that, that everybody uh, is all right. So that, that's our biggest concern, and, and we are, we're doing our best to, to respond and, and take care of, of the citizens and take care of everybody. Uh, but that, that's definitely our biggest concern. We're reading reports of, quote, catastrophic damage. Is that what you're seeing? We've also read reports of people still trapped at this hour. Uh, what we're seeing is a lot of uh, just what you would expect, damage uh, to buildings and debris, and um, and there's been some, of course, extensive power outages, So, and, and it's in the dark, it's hard to assess, but we do know that certain areas, we were determining the path and how it came through, and there were some businesses that were certainly um, hit and some, uh, you know, a wall that, that collapsed at a, bu a building and uh, certain areas that they're working on. But uh, as you would expect from a, a major destructive tornado, it's the destruction that you would see along with that. What are your emergency managers telling you now? I mean, what are you telling folks who might be listening um, and, and people who are who are still obviously still awake in your town? Uh, tonight, this morning, um, you want them to stay indoors. You want what? What are you telling them to do? Well, the best thing is to stay safe and check on your neighbors. Uh, what I've noticed is everybody's taking care of each other, uh, checking in on each other, calling around, making sure everybody's all right. And uh, we are. We're just going to continue to do that. And in our. Uh, Public safety personnel are are on it. It's all hands on deck. They're they're doing a fantastic job getting out there, and uh, and really being present and and being out and around and and assisting. Uh, it, the response has been incredible, and and really the best advice is not to call unless it's uh, indeed an emergency. Um, you know we know if there's a tree down and different things we understand that, but we're asking that they only call when it really is a true emergency so that they can respond to to uh, the most dire situations um, but at the same time we are or noticing a lot of neighbors are checking on neighbors um, when you said who's sleeping in Jefferson City right now I don't think anyone is I think everybody uh, that I've seen has been checking on each other and making sure that we're okay so a couple of things uh, one have you spoken with hospitals what are they telling you and before you can even really begin to clean up from this tornado, it appears that the threat of flooding could pose even a bigger danger later in the week. What can you tell us about that and preparations? Yes, we've already been prepping for the flooding. That's something that we already had an emergency declaration just today, evacuating portions around the river in the northern part of Jefferson City. So we are already anticipating the flooding that, that's coming along with this. We just didn't, of course, anticipate this kind of damage from a tornado. Uh, you asked if I've talked to the hospitals. I have not. Uh, I'm working closely with our emergency personnel. I can tell you that the command center uh, in our uh, police station is, uh, they are on everything and they are working, uh, uh, they are working together and, and working on, on all of this because we know uh, where the damage was and, and, you know, there's a hospital in close proximity, but from, it's my understanding that, 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 you know, was, that it did not actually affect the hospital itself. Can I ask you how much warning you had? I mean, I know you you posted a picture of it at a softball game at, you know, 10 p.m. Uh, your time, and just a couple hours later, you had this wedge tornado plowing through there. What, I mean, what was it like? What, what did it sound like? What, how, did, tell me, tell me your reaction. Well, it seemed to come fast, but uh, we, we had um, good coverage and a lot of good, um, you know, the local media was all completely focused on it and giving us great instruction. The local warning sirens, the outdoor warning sirens went off. Good. Um, all the, the media and news was, was telling everyone. But uh, we know there's been severe weather today, yesterday, over the last week or two, which is why, you know, there's a lot of significant river flooding and because there's just been a lot of rain and storms. So uh, did not anticipate uh, that it would be this severe that, that we would end up um, with a tornado, but we knew that severe weather was possible, and they've been talking about it for days, but then, it, you know, when the actual storm comes through, it does seem, seems to come in a hurry. Well, uh, Mayor Turgeon, we really appreciate you joining us at this early morning hour. We are praying for you and your town. If you could keep us up to date, 
with uh, whatever you see and hear in the next couple of hours. We appreciate your time and our thoughts and prayers with you.